Mike the Real McCoy. We hanging out. We're going to go head to head because it is go time. The college football playoff is here and it's Alabama, Notre Dame, January 1st. We're ringing in the new year with some pretty awesome football. You ready for it? Excited. How excited? Super. Hey, and I want to give a big shout out before we get this thing started to our sponsors this week. Andrews Sports Medicine, always taking care of the athletes, making sure they are good to go. G2G, you know all about that. All right, my phone is ringing. Let me hit end. All right, so let's talk about this. We got a big matchup going on. It's Alabama, Notre Dame. And let's be real, Notre Dame has not always risen to the occasion when it comes to these big games. There's always a big question mark about whether Notre Dame can get the job done. So first and foremost, I'm going to throw this out there and then I'm going to have you come at me with a counter punch because that's what you do. That's what you do best. All right, so on the defensive side of the football for Notre Dame, they are actually pretty good. They've been pretty stout this season. They've had 10 games in which they have limited passing yards to 220 which when you're going up against an Alabama team and Mac Jones, the three headed monster, Mac Jones, Devontae Smith. And then of course you got Najee who's going to run that football. How do you think these two teams match up? Do you think Alabama is going to have a tough time with this Notre Dame defense? Let's be clear. This is the ACC we're talking about. They have not played anyone. No pun intended, but pun intended, except for Clemson. Uh, <laughs> So with that being said, I don't think you can contain these guys. I don't think you contain Alabama's offense. They have too many weapons. Uh, Mac is playing out of his mind. Too many first rounders, too much talent. So we're going to get ready for the big show, the national. You talk about big talent. Alabama lands six All-Americans on first team, y'all, six. Mm. That was just announced this week. And oh, by the way, we're going to go down the list. Mac Jones, mm. Najee Harris, okay. the workhorse. That's right. right? Uh, we got Patrick Sertain. Lot we down. got Landon Dickerson. We, we got go. Alex Leatherwood. And of course, we can't leave off Devontae Smith. The man. So with all that being said, we got six first team All-Americans going up against this Notre Dame defense. Now, I will tell you one thing and one area that this Notre Dame defense has been pretty good at is limiting explosive plays. Again, going up against some of the opponents in the ACC, maybe not quite that of Alabama. I but can't even name you, though. I can't even tell you who all is in the ACC, honestly. <laughs> you can't go down that list? Can't go down the list. Well, look, I think that this Notre Dame defense is certainly going to be one of the more difficult defenses that Alabama has gone up against, but they have shown time and time again they spread the ball out. They get the ball downfield. Explosive plays is the name of the game. And give it to Najee. Let him run the ball. Let me ask you, do you expect to see more balance on offense uh, going up against this Notre Dame team? Do you expect to see a pretty solid 50-50 balance passing and, and, and running the football? I think Bama's going to do what they do. And they're going to be efficient as far as running and throwing. So I think it'll be probably 60-40, um, just spreading the ball out, trying to if they're getting pressure on the quarterback, it's going to come out fast, and they're going to crowd the box, and we're going to air it out and be explosive plays. So. All right, and one thing worth noting, Landon Dickerson, who we just said was on first-team All-American, um, unfortunately uh, went down with an injury uh, in the SEC championship game. Mm. He's doing great. He obviously will not be returning a long road to recovery there. Right. Chris Owens will be stepping in. So there will be a little bit of a question mark. What will Alabama look like with now Chris Owens being under center? Um, not under center, at center, with Mac Jones behind him under center. Um, with that being said, I'm anxious to see how that plays out. You know, will he be able to command this offense, obviously get guys lined up and be that communicator and, um, you know, certainly, certainly, uh, you know, spread the holes, give them those opportunities. All right, we'll flip to the defensive side of the football. Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. Notre Dame's got a guy named Ian Book. Tough. Ian Book, good quarterback. He is 
played really well this year. He has. Statistically speaking, um, 314 pass attempts and only two interceptions. So he's been playing pretty good mistake-free football. Safe ball. Safe ball. That's right. Conservative ball. That's it. What does Alabama need to do defensively to get their hands on this quarterback, pressure him, make mistakes, and, of course, maybe get some turnovers to, to sway things I'm way. really not concerned about the passing game. What I'm concerned about is the running back that they have. I saw what he did to Clemson, and the look, Little man, he got little man syndrome. He, he's all yard dog. He has a bite, but if I think if we crowd the box, I think we can contain him. But that's my biggest fear, the run game. I'm not worried about the passing game. We have an All-American at corner, right? Patrick Sertain. Yeah. And we got the Malachi Moore at nickel. And, I mean, come on, it, it's Bama. They're going to they're gonna show up. All right, and, and I go back to this often because I remember <laughs> looking at your face. Maybe we'll get Clay to pull back the rewind on this when you begged and pleaded, please, 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 please get better defense. And that was coming off the old Miss game. That's, Remember, that's Ole Miss right. That's right. torched you right. Alabama's that, defense. You right. Torched them. They made me eat my words. So, hey, I feel like uh, you guys hear what what Coach Mike says. So, hey, do your job. Do your job. You got one job and do it. Do it well. And if you look at this defense, if you can look at the beginning of the season when you were begging and pleading with them and where they're at now, where have you seen the greatest improvement that gives you a lot of confidence going into this one? They move as a unit. They move as one. Um, they don't play. I think they have a golfer's mentality where they don't get too excited and they don't get too low on themselves. I think they're just even keel. I like that. Yeah. A little golf reference there because, you know, golf is a tough game. I don't it know about is. you. Do you play golf? I know. A little. <laughs> a little. And by a little, a little. I mean, a little. Hey, I play a little. First time I went out there to play golf, and I had a, I had a, a private lesson, and um, I was told I looked like I was laying an egg <laughs> the way I got in my stance. He said, look like you're laying an egg. Nevertheless, Neil Thompson, uh, shoot me straight, my buddy Neil Thompson over there. Um, I appreciate, though, the constructive criticism, much like, uh, you know, we have big end of in Alabama all year long, but now it's time to show up, shine out, do their thing, and it's prediction time. Mike McCoy, what you got? Oh, I'm gonna give us. I see these are two. Let me give us 35-17. Ooh, I'm going 45-20. Okay. I mean, we're close. We've been pretty we're close all year. Pretty close. 45-20, feeling good about it. I think this Alabama team though is gonna take care of business. Yes. Get themselves ready for the Natty. But you can't look ahead. No rat poison, folks. Let's just get it done. January 1st, ring in the new year with the big win. And that's all she wrote. Andrews Sports Medicine. Aggressively pursuing victory over injury. Call 205-939-3699. It's guaranteed that I die legend. Yeah, son God, homie, I'm revving. Just protecting my investment.